casino dealers of Reddit, what is the saddest thing you've seen at your table? Toss up between. 1. Coming into work to see some of the same people still playing that were there when I left the previous night. 2. Watching other dealers take their togs and sit down at a table and lose it all after their shift ended. Former dealer. Saw sad infuriating shti literally every single day. Hell I'd argue 80% of the gamblers were sad. The one that stuck out to me the most is some dude that arrived at my table at about 3pm. He sat down saying generally to me other people at the table. Double quote. I only have about 2 hours to play. I get to see my son tonight. Basically divorce. It was his turn to spend time with have his son and tonight was his son's first sports game. I don't at all remember which one. He had to leave at 6. I mention when it's 5. 30 that he only has 30 minutes left. I tell him when it's 6. He says he can be a few minutes late. He wants to finish the she, the rest of the cards. I tell him when it's 7 because I'm actually freaking mad. As someone that barely saw my father growing up. At 8 I go home. I come into work the next day at 10am and see him. He never went home. It was sad but also frick that piece of shti. Wasting his life playing a stupid game and missing doing literally anything else with his time. Not to mention he doesn't deserve his son. I worked as a croupier for 3 years. I had an Irish student come into the casino drunk. He proceeded to spend his entire year's worth of student loads and bursary. He stood at my blackjack table and begged me and my manager for his money back. Trying to explain to me that he was only 18 and why it was illegal for us to put him in such a position he. G. Bent over the table and looted of all monies. Can't afford it. Don't spend it. I worked front of house, reception for a few casinos and I've seen very well off people come on and after a few months they are broke and homeless. I've also seen people coming in for the first time and leaving in tears. It's really sad but at the end of the day it's greed. One story in particular will always stick with me. I worked in a casino near Chinatown in London and we had a new member sign up. He had recently inherited a huge fortune from a relative. It was his first time in the casino. I saw him more and more regularly as the months went by. I think it was about 6 months after his first visit I saw him literally begging for money in Chinatown. Greed. It gets everyone. I wasn't a dealer but I used to work security at a casino. I remember a relatively wealthy couple explaining to me that they sold their fridge and stove so that they could use the money to keep gambling. They said they had no need for them because the casino camped them so many meals. All I could think of was how sad of people they were. This one for some reason bothers me more than anything though. Seeing a mother leave her children at the entry gate so she could gamble. This was like 2. 30 am and the children were something like 4 and 16. We told her numerous times to take them home but she wouldn't. We contacted DCI, state troopers basically that are always on property, to come and talk to her. Because the 16 year old was watching the other child they couldn't do anything. We also had a policy that if they were at the table games. The pit boss had to make the call to kick her out. He wouldn't because she was spending too much. I just watched as these kids sat on a bench for hours waiting for their mom. They complained they were hungry and thirsty but I couldn't do much more than get a waitress to grab a soda. Not a dealer but I used to be security in a small casino. This Asian lady shows up, parks right in front of the casino and comes in looking for her husband. It's 5am on Christmas morning. I look in the back of the car and two kids probably between 4 and 6 are sitting in the car into their PJS. Lady asks us to look around for him but gives us very little description. Asian man with black hair. Lol. We can't find him. So she comes in and searches for 10 minutes before I see her leading this guy out in a disheveled suit. She looks PSSED. That was the saddest thing I've ever witnessed. Heard worse though. Not a dealer. Watched a guy streaming his online blackjack game. He splits a double ace. 10k on the hand. Flips a 5 on the left. 7 on the right. Not a big deal. 16 stroke 18 not bad good chance of beating the house. Flips on for left. 
19. Decides to stay. House deals double kings. 10k gone in a matter of seconds. That may be unfortunate, I don't know the odds. But it's not sad without context. If he can't afford to play those stakes he's stupid. If he's an addict and needed that money for something else then it might be sad. Not a casino dealer. But saddest thing I've seen is the new kid at work try and keep up with the VPs and top sales people at the blackjack table. Up to $250 a hand. Of course the top sales guy who earns $500k plus a year comes away $8k up. While the new kid on $60k salary comes away $5k down. Told me he didn't know how he was going to pay his rent and feed his newborn kid for a while. TLDR. Don't play with money you can't afford to lose. A friend of mine was nearing foreclosure on her home. She took all her cash. $800. To a casino to win enough to save her house. She lost it all. Met. All she had to her name was $800 with a mortgage and other debt. She was likely on the brink of bankruptcy anyway. If you're down by 4 points in the last play of the game it's better to throw the Hail Mary and have the other team get a pick 6 than just give up and knee it. It's sad seeing how shameless people get at the casino. They'll straight up ask for money and BTCH when you don't give it to them. They'll just ask just to get 5 bucks only to lose it right away. Seeing people so addicted they miss work and stay for days hoping to win the money back they lost. The casino is just a sad place with bright lights and sounds to make it look like fun and good times. Serving drinks at the casino. Had a woman playing slots ask me the time. I said it was 4. 30. She replied oh good. I still have time to get the cake for my son's birthday party. I just stopped in to play for a little while. Dot. It was 4. 30 am. She'd been in the casino for over 12 hours at the slots and had totally missed her son's birthday. I worked at a bar with a video poker machine. I watched a guy hit 1900 on the video poker machine. He came up. Said he lost his job. This was a gift from God etc. He bought a round for the bar. And tipped me well. He went back to the machine. When I cashed out his ticket 45 minutes later. It was for 37 bucks. I used a deal roulette. Night shifts. There was this one guy who came in. Not a regular gambler. He had some early wins. And got up a couple hundred bucks. Really enjoying himself. Well. He didn't quit while he was ahead. And ended up losing it all and going into the negatives. Down about a hundred bucks. He said his wife would kill him if he lost money here. So he went to the cash machine and got out more money to bet so he could win it back. No such luck. He stayed at the casino all night. Losing more and more money. At about 5 in the morning. He tries the cash machine and his card is maxed. He empties the change out of his pocket and bets away his last few dollars. Then goes home penniless and on the verge of tears. Oh. And did I say it was this one guy? Yeah I meant at least one guy every single night. I'm not a dealer. But I work in a gas station with lotto machines. We have this one dude. Probably in his mid to late 70s with severe Parkinson's. Who comes in almost daily and gambles for up to 7 or 8 hours. He almost never gets anything back either, if he does. It's usually like $5 or $10. His wife calls after several hours and he says he'll be home in 15 minutes, which actually means 1-2 hours. When he's done run out of cash. He'll come to the counter and tell me his wife is going to be so mad at him for blowing that money. I shared this story before on here. And someone mentioned that compulsive behavior such as gambling can be a result of Parkinson's. And that made me feel 10 times sadder for this poor guy. I have other gambling addicts who come in. And mostly I just feel disdain. Mostly 30-40 year old parents who take their poor kids with them. Or a few older guys who like to make untoward comments regarding me being a woman. But this one I just feel genuinely bad for. My mom used to deal blackjack at a boulder strip casino in Vegas. The saddest stories I ever heard were about people cussing. Spitting or throwing cards at her over losing. 
The craziest story was when a guy came crashing through the front doors naked and covered in blood. He had picked up a street walker and brought her to his hotel room. But her pimp followed. She let him in and they rolled the guy. Street hookers. Not ever once kids. Happens pretty frequently. But for me it's when high rollers who were betting several thousands of dollars per hand. Lose everything gradually. And end up betting their last few coins from their wallets. I was dealing craps in Atlantic City and watched Alan Iverson of the 76ers drop his trousers and pee in a potted plant. When he was in Detroit a friend said his friend worked the VIP lounge and he would come in and drop a few hundred thousand a weekend. Not a dealer. I was playing some poker in FL one night when I see a woman 8 months pregnant walk through the room with a drink, deaf alcoholic, in one hand and a cigarette in the other heading to her table. I felt horrible for that child. My friend who was a dealer in Las Vegas has since passed away so I will tell the story he told me as best I remember. It was a normal night when he heard a woman screaming bloody murder. He looked up at the exact moment to see a man who had just lost his life savings at the next table over. Pull out a knife and slit his own throat. I do not believe the man lived. I'm not a dealer. But if you know someone that needs help, don't shy away from intervening. My mother has fed a slot more than she has fed me. I spent weeks of my childhood sitting outside VIP rooms while she gambled away. She even gambled away 250k in a single night that we were using to buy our home. It's a sick addiction that affects everyone. We're now in foreclosure and she's at a casino right now. Not overly sad but kind of sums the game up. In a casino on a cruise ship once I was watching a few people play roulette. As was another guy who was getting progressively drunk. Eventually. Having seen the others have a couple of big wins. He succumbed to the temptation. Withdrawing you acute 200 of chips against his cabin's account. Put it all across the board. Only failing to cover a couple of squares and of course that was the one it landed on. The key is to go into a gambling situation with the mindset of the money already being gone. That you have paid for a few minutes hours of entertainment and the bet was a fee. If you think about things like that. Then winning and losing becomes a game instead of a task. Immo. Only professional or semi-professional gamblers should ever go to the table worried about if they lose. Not a dealer. Was playing a 10-20 PLHE game at my local casino. Guys get into a very wealthy hold'em hand. Somewhere in the range of 10k in the pot at the end. Dude flips over quad kings. And the dude who just hand his aces full of kings flips out and slams his hand down in anger. Everyone at the table sees and we start screaming but as he slammed the hand down and one of the cards turns over and just barley into the mark. As you guys can probably tell. There was a bad beat of 117k that didn't get paid because this guy was mad about losing 4k of his own money. That was one expensive tantrum. Not a dealer but I was at a casino in Ontario haunting a blackjack table here and there. My friends were teaching me the ropes and I was doing alright. Anyways walking and I saw the guy max out about 12 credit cards he probably had a bit over 10k on hand. He looked decrepit and desperate. Between my table hopping I see him settle at a roulette table playing varying odds of numbers over a 30 minute time period. Walking by one final time I literally saw him put his last few dollars down and completely tank. The look on his face was. I've gambled away my entire life. He was wearing a wedding ring. I was dealing blackjack in the higher limit room. Table had a minimum $1000 bet and a game called Lucky Ladies where you placed a side bet with a $25 minimum. The objective was to get 2 queen of hearts dealt to your hand and you'd win a jackpot in the hundreds of thousands. When I arrived. Player had been playing both. Blackjack and Lucky Ladies all night. He was down quite a few hundred thousand and was looking to get it back. He was down to his last $25 chip and he looked at me square in the face. He said. Double quote. Nap. You're not lucky. As a dealer for him. He pulled back his side bet while I did a table sweep to pull out the cards. Out came two queen of hearts on his spot. He slammed the table so hard it got everyone's attention. He said. Double quote. I'm glad there's a bridge by this casino. 
I was crushed dealing it to him.